Hi guys and welcome to another one of my videos. Today I'll be showing you my O3 Air Unit OSD that does not have a single question mark. So let's start having a look at what I did um, and what the end results of that are. So I swapped basically every, almost every icon that I was able to find with something that I thought was suitable and available from the library or font set of uh, icons that DJI provides us with. We've got wind indicators. I've got temperature indicators for IMU and barometer. Now, of course, you can have other temperature indicators, but the trick here is that I actually used the custom OSD elements to just get the text to be written on one side because I just didn't want to change like all of the code to get that. Um, I've got roll and pitch showing us the roll and pitch angles. I've got um, efficiency at the bottom right where you can see the milliamp hours E standing for efficiency. It will be WE if you're using watts, so watts of efficiency. Depends on what you want to use, both will be available. I've got switch indicators. Um, you can see the stabilization mode that I'm in. And I can, you can see that that's switch down, switch mid, and switch high. I think that's pretty clear. Um, something that you don't see at the moment is the vertical bars didn't have indicators indicating up and down. Now, they don't move because we don't have any of the in-between steps from the DJI available fonts. But we can add at least the direction arrows of where the numbers are going. So are they going up or down, just to help us visually. One thing that I changed, which you can see in the top left, is I've just added a little space bar because the number 99 for RSSI is actually the maximum number that it can reach. It can't go to 100. Um, 99 is actually the, the maximum. And so what happens is that that little um, RSSI icon gets shifted one bar uh, one box, sorry, across, and like this, they're both aligned. So the link quality, which is on the top, which is 100, and the 99, which is RSSI, those are now perfectly in line. The 25, I'm still thinking what to do with that. Um, at the moment, the 25 is actually my transmitter power output. Um, I usually don't have this on my OSD, but, uh, you know, I've added it now. There's no question mark. That's the whole point. You can also see that I've got the glide slope, glide distance, maximum glide distance, and fly time as well. So there's no question marks for those either. And let's have a look at the other OSDs. So this is a clean OSD that I've got. This is my second OSD. It's kind of just uh, tidying things up a bit. And then the last one, which is my pit tuning OSD. So you can see that I've got P1. Now, instead of the P for... Um, profile one, it should actually be like a little folder icon, but obviously, since we don't have that, P will have to just do the job. And everything else is good, but there is a little bit of extra that I did, and that is to do with the crosshair. I really was bothered by the fact that there were no other crosshairs available, even though we do have some icons that we can substitute for the crosshairs. So I kind of made up my own crosshairs for this one. Um, if we scroll through them, the aircraft symbol is the same, uh, but that's the only one that is the same as the others. The next one uses another symbol. It adds small lines and then larger lines, depending on your preference. And then I've got different sizes. So I've got a small one, a larger one with the left and right arrows, and then a large one with thick left and right arrows. So you can choose what size fits best. Of course, I could have done others and more, but I thought these were like the best visually appealing. I think this one is pretty good. This one is pretty good. And personally, my favorite is actually this one. I, I like to use uh, this one, if, if any of them at all. So that's basically um, all the changes that I've made uh, so far. 
it's very likely that I'll be doing more changes as I go along. But with the available font set from DGI, uh, this is the best that you can get, I think. I mean, if you have some ideas, please uh, leave them in the comments below or somewhere or message me or whatever you think is best. And um, I'll look into implementing it. Um, so yeah, you can find all of the information um, in the video description. You can find download links, whatever you're looking for will be there. If there's any ambiguity, please don't hesitate to drop me a message somewhere and um, I'll be sure to help you out. So I hope this was helpful. I hope you like this. And um, I just hope that it makes the people who have bought into the DJI O3 system and the goggles, um, that it just makes them a little bit happier. Um, seeing less and less question marks. Thanks for watching.